Who do you guys like better, Conor Murphy or Conor McGregor? Conor Murphy. Conor Murphy. Conor Murphy. Hey. So what do you guys think of Conor Murphy? Oh, I think you're really cute, but I don't know you. Yeah, he's really cute. He's, he's a cute. fitness YouTuber. Almost time. And I think you're great, honey. You keep doing you. <laughs> So, I'm here with Connor Murphy. I met Connor, I don't know, two years ago or so. Gotten to know him a little bit at that time. We're on spring break vacation right now on South Padre Island, and I just figured I'd sit him down for a little interview. How's that sound? That sounds amazing, Patrick. Incredible. I'm honored to be on such a YouTube channel of clout. Heck yeah. Um, basically, what I did is I did a little Google search to see what the most common questions are about Connor Murphy. Like, what does the internet want to know about him? Um, we're going to reveal some secrets today. So. Mm. Get ready for that. Sounds juicy. So we'll start with some easy stuff. What is uh, your birthday? I'm gonna have to check that one out. Hold on, honey, where's my phone? <laughs> uh, why you start with the hard questions, Patrick? Um, <laughs> my birthday is October 7th, 1994. That makes me 24 years old, man. 24 years old. Yeah, sometimes my stats and like age and stuff gets confused on the internet because there's some famous hockey player, also named Connor Murphy, but no. This is you, heard it, you heard it here first, man. I'm 24. October 7th, 1994. So, yeah, send me some birthday presents, man. Um, yeah. Did you say 1974 or 1994? 94. Okay. <laughs> it's like, bro. Okay. Um, then, a little bit more on your stats. What's your height and your weight right now? Mmm. So, my height, I say I'm 6'2 because I think 6'2 is a perfect height, but to be honest, I'm closer to 6'3. Okay. Um, and weight right now, I shredded down for spring break, man. I know the lighting is probably not the best, but I shredded down for spring break, so I'm probably sitting around. 205 or slightly under, but normally I'm like 210, and then the max I really get is like 215. Okay. So yeah, around 205. Cool. Um, now we're getting into a little bit more juicy things. Does Connor Murphy have a girlfriend? <laughs> At the moment, uh, no. Okay. Um, but um, my boyfriend's name is actually uh, Mark. He's with not. <laughs> so basically, um, I had a girlfriend actually slightly recently. Like, I guess. Technically, we, we dated like officially for a couple months, but we saw each other for like six, um, and that ended completely like a few weeks ago. But nah, man, it's difficult to have a girlfriend doing what I do. Gotcha. For sure. That's fair. Um, so at the moment, no, I'm single. So for all you, uh, all you three ladies watching this video, hit me up on Instagram. Yeah. Shoot him a DM. All right. Uh, did Connor Murphy go to college? Mmm. Connor Murphy did go to college. In fact, Connor Murphy was a complete nerd. Uh, if I wasn't doing this YouTube thing, I'd probably be some sort of data scientist, like number crunching, working a 9 to 5 job, a 9 to 5 job. But, um, yeah, I majored in like computational math and economics at Southwestern University, the small school just north of Austin, Texas. That's why me and Patrick know each other, because he actually went to the University of Texas, which is like Heck 20 yeah. minutes south of that. So, yeah, I went to college, didn't enjoy it, wasn't fun, but I wouldn't change anything because I yeah. probably wouldn't be filming at you know, 6th Street, and I probably wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't go to that college, so. Nice, what was your GPA? Um, got a little worse my senior year because I didn't give a flip since I uh, knew that I was gonna be doing YouTube, but it was probably the average throughout the whole, like 3.6 or 3.8 or something like that. Okay, So cool. Yeah. Ooh, this is a good one. What workouts does Connor Murphy do, slash, does Connor Murphy even lift? <laughs> Um, depends on the body part. Sorry about legs. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I actually work out legs as well. I do a weird workout, man. I like to experiment around. Um, the workout split I'm doing right now is actually really cool, in my opinion. Combines the like optimal amount of frequency and volume for like natural lifters. So it's like push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Um, but I hit a little bit of legs every day. So like three sets of legs um, and three sets of calves every day. So yeah, I work out. That's just what I'm doing right now. I love yeah. it. I can get it done in under 30 minutes. Um, and so, cool. yeah, I looked a little bit. Yeah. I didn't want to make this too, like, podcasty, but one thing I do want to note is that he said that each workout's only, like, 30 minutes. It's not like he's going to the gym two hours a day, push, pull, push, pull. That'd be, like, way too much volume. You don't need that much. But exactly. That's the thing. If you're going to hit body parts every other day, your volume should obviously be less than if you're hitting a body part, like, only twice a week. Yeah. Or once a week. But you should always hit body parts more than once a week if you're natty. If you're on steroids, man, I, I don't know. Do your thing. Like, like, I don't really know how that works, but. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, what is Connor Murphy's diet? I can already say before he says anything, it's pretty darn weird. I've been living with him on spring break and uh, it's different, so you can tell. It's different, man, but I freaking love it. I cannot see me changing diets anytime soon. So I've been testing out diets and this is the one I love the most. So it's kind of like a cyclical, keto di a cyclical ketogenic diet. So essentially, 
I eat keto five days a week, which is a low carb diet. In fact, it's not really keto because my uh, protein is higher than it should be for keto. Yeah, yeah. So it's really just low carb, but keto is kind of a buzzword these days when like, people know what I'm talking about. So essentially, five days of the week, it's low carbs. I basically have no carbs. So I eat stuff like, like cheese, almonds, fish, nuts. I um, mean, it's pretty much it. It's pretty bland. Eggs, you know, stuff like that. Avocado. I don't know if I said that. But anyway, and then two days of the week. Usually it's Monday, Thursday. So I split it up kind of evenly. I go crazy on the carbs. I, I, and I limit it to one meal. So I actually don't track this. Because I limit it to one meal, the calories are definitely limited. I yeah. can only eat so much. But I absolutely love sushi. I pick out at like sushi buffets or all you can eat sushi twice a week. And the benefit of that is, man, is because, first of all, it tastes amazing. And I love having those epic cheat meals. But also, um, there's a lot of benefits to calorie or carb cycling, right? It keeps your metabolism high. When you have these really high calorie days, it signals to your body like, whoa, like I have this surplus of food, um, so I'm not starving, right? Like from an evolutionary standpoint, if you're in a deficit for a long time, right, it's like, <laughs> like, I'm starving, so I better like store every ounce of like, like extra energy that I have, right? right? Because I'm not gonna have food for a while. When you have these super high calorie days, it resets all these hormones, it basically tells your body, yo, I every couple days I have a surplus of food, so when I am in a deficit, it's cool to like yeah. burn fat, right? If that makes sense. So there are a lot of benefits to calorie cycling. It actually keeps you like very full because when I have it, when you eat a lot of meals and are super super like satiated, your leptin levels go back through the roof, which keeps you um, full, like not hungry the few days after that. Yeah. So even when you're cutting, man, I think you should have at least one day a week where you're actually in a surplus for that day, right? So when you're in a deficit just over and over for too, too long, that's how your metabolism gets slowed down and it just makes it a lot more difficult. So yeah. I love that diet because it keeps my metabolism high and it's absolutely so fun. And the one thing that I want to note on that is that it's not like he's eating at maintenance or surplus and he's having these really high carb days. It's like he's, you know, either eating at a moderate amount or a deficit and then he has those. Yeah, I forgot days. to say. So essentially right now I'm essentially like, well, for, so when I'm cutting down, sometimes I cut out those carb days, right? But essentially, the keto days are, are definitely in a deficit. I'm eating like 2,800 calories. And then the carb days are definitely in a surplus, right? I'm eating like 4,000 to 4,500 calories. But the net outcome is essentially around maintenance if you average those out, right? Because it's two carb days, five keto days. So essentially, it's mostly like around maintenance, like 3,300 calories is like the average. So essentially, I'm trying to very, very slowly like maybe gain a little muscle and keep about the same body fat or maybe even lose body fat, if that yeah. makes sense, so. Cool, so the best diet, one that works for you. This is what works for Connor. All right, so we talked about workouts, we talked about diet. This is the juicy one. Oh gosh. This is a pun, are you natural? Is Connor Murphy natural? Wait, how's that a pun? Because of juice. Oh, juicy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> So is Connor Murphy natural? Yeah, yeah, I'm natural. So here's the thing, man. If I was like competing in bodybuilding competitions, at this like stage of men's physique, how it's progressed, if you want to compete at the NPC level, you have to be on like juice. Unless there might be like one or two, maybe they have crazy genetics, yeah. but I don't think they're like winning or anything like that. Like if you really want to like compete and like be competitive, you have to get on the juice. Like the, yeah. the men's physique people at, at Mr. Olympia, like it's not a, it's not like a secret. It's like everyone knows like there are masses of amounts of juice. And I'm just not really, really willing to do that because essentially for me to like live a fun lifestyle, for me to like do this whole YouTube thing, it's not really based on me being like the most jacked person ever. It's more on like the fun stuff I do, like my personality. Obviously I have to remain like relatively fit. And of course I want to remain relatively fit to get girls. Um, but the thing is, man, like if anything, I'm already like on the upper limit of what girls even prefer. Like yeah. if I was actually going for the body that like actually like girls prefer, it might even be like a little bit smaller. So for me, there's not really any reason. Yeah to like get on steroids, if that makes sense. Right. Cause I don't want to sacrifice my health when there's, there's just no benefit. Even if I were to compete, um, competing doesn't really help like the business that much, if right. that makes sense. Like, and it really doesn't give me like that much more exposure unless I was going to be at the very, very, very top. And that's so detrimental to the health, the amount of steroids they have to take, like it's not worth it to me. Yeah. So. Yeah. And just like from my perspective, obviously also a natural bodybuilder or whatever, uh, it's like standing next to Connor in person, is definitely different than sitting next to someone who's like juiced out of their mind. Like I've been to Gold's Gym in Venice and it's like everyone there is like incredibly massive and it's just a different level of It's a different look. Like, it's a different look. Like even if they're not like pound for pound bigger than me, there's a different, there's a weird like hardness and like, yeah, it, like it's, it's, the, it's a lot of times their skin is all red and stuff and it just, it really doesn't like yeah. look good, man. So, so if you um, have your doubts, go find Connor in California, stand next to him and be like, okay, this guy's, he's chill. Yeah. Yeah.
not that doing steroids isn't chill, but uh, yeah, man, it just depends on your goals. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, if you if your life goal is to really be a professional bodybuilder, then like, yeah, that's what you have to do. But make sure you research and know all the risks, like the pros and cons and yeah. stuff. So yeah, cool. All right. Well, I think you just answered. I was gonna say, uh, is Connor Murphy going to compete again? Mm. Probably not. Probably not, man. Like, I might do a silly show like at Muscle Beach, like without prep. Um, yeah. But I, I don't really like cutting down for shows because it's not worth it to me. So like, what am I gonna get out of doing a show, like a trophy? Like, I'm not really gonna get any extra exposure. I don't really enjoy it. If I'm gonna cut down for that low body fat, it's gonna like f up my hormones. It's gonna make like, uh, I'm gonna gain like a bunch of fat afterwards because my metabolism is gonna be shot. My sex drive is gonna be low. I'm gonna be like feeling like. So for me, it's not really worth it to compete at all. Like, yeah. um, think about it. Even, you know what's crazy is like even though men's physique champ, like the biggest competition in the world, Mr. Physi Mr. Olympia. Like, I mean, you do get exposure for winning Mr. Olympia and you yeah. probably like, it'll help like your business out, but you get 20 grand, which they literally spend more. They spend their entire lot more. lives working toward that. Yeah. And they probably spend more on steroids each year. You know what I mean? So yeah. it just, just to put that in perspective, like I think the pros of competing are far, far less than, than the cons. So. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I've had people ask me if I'm going to compete and my answer is like pretty much probably not. And the reason is because like, if you want to make kind of like exponential progress or just continued progress over time, competing literally doesn't do that. Oh, you literally yeah. hinder your progress. Your strength goes down, you will lose some muscle. Like there are a lot of downsides to competing. Yeah, that's true. Especially if you're just starting out, like there's no reason to like diet down that much. That's gonna just, it's gonna, yeah, stunt your progress, so. Yeah. All right, is Connor Murphy rich? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, interesting you question. You can answer that however you want. Yeah, it depends what you guys define as rich. Um, I guess I can say, uh, to be honest, um, I do it full time. It allows me to live a lifestyle where I can travel, um, essentially spend my money on whatever I want with yeah. obviously not like cars and boats and stuff, but I don't have to check my bank account or worry whatsoever when I'm like ordering food or like, you know, uh, spending my money on, on like stuff, like on like trips like this. Um, it basically is giving me the ability to have the freedom to not like worry about money, if that makes sense. It's good. So, so yeah. Um, and would so you say, you. is the majority of that from YouTube or other stuff? Like YouTube directly or the things that have come from? It honestly depends, man. So it comes from YouTube ads. It comes from the, the products I sell, like clothing supplements um, in my, my info products. Um, and it also comes from like now I've been doing like sponsored like brand deals and stuff like that. And depending on the month, one might be higher than the other. They're all pretty substantial um, amounts um, of income. It just really depends. Yeah. Like, the video goes viral, the YouTube ad revenue will probably be more. If I do a bunch of brand deals, brand deals will be more. And depending on how hard I promote my products, they could be more. So, cool. Yeah, it just kind of depends. Getting a little bit more specific, what does Connor Murphy use to film his videos? Mmm. So, for the most part, um, I actually, for the longest time, I didn't even own a camera because um, I either, I start out filming with like an iPhone 6. And I remember my girlfriend like literally filming with like undercover videos with an iPhone 6 and me having like an external mic attached to me. Yeah. And having to like, well, I don't know why I'm pointing here. It was on my, I was shirtless, so it was obviously on my hip. But um, yeah, like I would have to link up the audio and video and it was a lot of work. So there's no excuse for like, like you can literally film like all, of your, your camera that you have right now on your phone is probably good enough to start. So don't make that an excuse. But recently um, I got like a Canon, uh, I think, is it the Canon G7X? That's what it is, right? That's what I'm asking you, man. <laughs> oh, sure. Like you see, yeah, it's Canon yeah. G7X. Yeah. yeah, that's that's Canon, right? right? Yeah, yeah. So the Canon G7X, um, that's like pretty much the most popular vlogging camera, I think. It's just so simple to use. Um, it's, it's in its good quality, and it's just like a one. You just press a button, film, and it's 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 super easy. So that's what I like to use to film. Maybe if I'm in a club or something where they don't allow that, and I I need to film, like I'll use an iPhone. But yeah, yeah. or if I'm hanging around like Zach or someone with a really cool camera, he might film. I don't have no idea what camera he has, yeah, but yeah. for me, the only camera I own is my iPhone and a Canon G7X. Cool. What made Conor Murphy famous? Mmm. Well, I guess, honestly, if you guys are watching this, you probably, you probably know. I guess, <laughs> do you mean like initially, like, like what really start, set off the fame train? Or yeah. Is it like, yeah, so I think what really started it, I'm sure you guys know my videos now, but what really started is probably my Omega series, where I went on video chat, a video chat site, and essentially just took off my shirt and got girls' reactions. The mm -hmm. cool thing about that is they were very genuine reactions because it's not like, they, they, they feel safe behind a camera when they're not like in person, right? right. So they don't feel awkward. Um, and so it got like really, really genuine reactions. Like if you did that in person, 
um, a lot of girls would be like, like, like they act like they like don't care, you know, or yeah, they're, yeah. they're not into it. But when you're on camera, there's no reason for them to not to like, oh, like, wow, like gives a real like genuine reaction. So that was really cool. Um, someone posted that video on their page, like one of the second one, I think the second one I did, um, it went viral, got like 2 million views in like a couple weeks. And so I got my first like few thousand subscribers. And then from there, I just keep, kept posting viral content and yeah, just grew from there, man. Cool. Um, and that goes along with the next question. Are Conor Murphy's pranks real? Mm, that's an interesting question. So I actually did a video at, on this, right? I kind of answered this question um, and I actually did like a raw, like uncut scene. And the mm. first group of girls I went up to, like we didn't cut the video whatsoever and they gave her like a really good reaction. So yeah. the answer is like for the vast, vast, vast majority, like 100%. The only thing where it gets like a little sketchy is like, like we filmed some videos on 6th Street before where like we're with a group of girls and maybe some other girls like kind of see what's going on or maybe some girls like are kind of scared to be in the video so we kind of have to explain like a little more than I want. Um, and so it's like, so it's like, you know, only like 80%, like they have like an idea of like 20% of like what's gonna happen. Like some girls who have been in my video like know I'm probably gonna take my shirt off, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, um, like on 6th Street because they've like known me or they've like seen, but we, yeah, uh, we honestly, Girls are terrible actresses. I remember, I think I talked about this on the podcast, but there was one video that was so difficult. I actually tried to fake it way back like, when I first started. I ended up not posting it because I literally played this girl like, I, I tried three different girls. One, I, I paid this one girl uh, like a hundred bucks and she was actually an actress and her reaction was like so terrible. Like if you actually get girls to like fake these videos, the reactions are gonna be so much worse than the genuine ones. Cause yeah. girls actually don't know like, how to respond unless they're actually like in the moment. Yeah, no, no, yeah. So no, like even if I had to pick, I would rather do real videos. So we always try and make them um, as real as possible. Cool. And then since we're on spring break, the last question is very fitting. Does Conor Murphy drink alcohol? Mmm. Why do people like drink alcohol? Yeah, I think on spring break there's like a couple. Is that why people are acting so crazy? Around. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, here's the thing, man. No, I haven't really drank since college. I did drink a lot in college. I don't have anything against it. In fact, um, man, I don't really give a shit about other people's health, you know? So like if they want to drink, hey, they're more fun, which like makes the time more fun for me. So I actually like, like it when people drink. But for me, no. So partially it's fitness. It is way easier to like, it's not even because of that. That's just like definitely a benefit though. Yeah. It's definitely easier to stay lean and like um, alcohol does hinder your gains a little bit. Don't get me wrong, you can still drink and like still have a great physique, like I did it in college, but I think what the real reason was is in college, I was a super introvert and shy, and I felt like I had to rely on alcohol way too much to go out. Like every time I went out, I had to get drunk or I couldn't talk to people. And you know, I, I hated that just in general, but also since I was gonna do YouTube, like I had to change that. You know, I had to become more outgoing. And like, come on, think of it, like, there's no way I'd be able to film every freaking day. Like every time I, every time I film, I have to get drunk. You know what I mean? Like every yeah. time I talk to people, I have to get drunk. Like that would suck. So I had to learn not to rely on it. And that's kind of why I stopped drinking altogether. And now it's just kind of a habit. Um, I really have no desire to drink whatsoever. So yeah, no, yeah. I, don't, I don't really drink. I've, I've learned to have a great time uh, um, without it. Yeah, and I'm in the same boat. I can definitely say it's just like, you can train yourself or like you can learn to have a good time without it. You definitely don't need it. And uh, so I support that. Hell yeah, dude. Well, thank you, Connor. Appreciate you answering all these questions. Of Hope course, that the man. internet is satisfied with oh, answering. Man, all these girls hit me up. My bad, man. The phone keeps messing. I apologize. We can get back to this. this girl. Wait, we got to close out the video, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's um, go. Hope that we satisfied the internet with uh, answering all these questions. Um, the internet's most popular kind of murky questions. Uh, if you are watching this video, thank you for watching. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Connor and I have a ton of videos on my channel. If you haven't seen them, they're worth it. You gotta watch them. Um, if you're watching this video, you obviously know who this guy is, so thank you. And we will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Maybe do a little flex? Mm. Cool. Oh, oh, I don't, hey. I don't know. I'm just trying to think like what could be like a good thumbnail, like. Like. <laughs> I'm thinking like maybe there's a, like, a fake reaction where I'm just like, because it's like you're revealing a secret. Cool.